Hello viewers, you are most welcome back to this channel and a special wish goes out to all final year candidates writing the 2020 WASI exams to continue to pray and study hard and not rely on leaked exams questions and I know by the grace of the Almighty God with hard work and dedication you will sail through your exams successfully. So in today's video I'm going to delve deeper into some of the major reasons why an applicant will perform so well in his or her WASI with let's say aggregate 6 or 7 or even 8 A's or 7 A's but will still not get admissions to any of the major universities in Ghana like the University of Ghana or the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. And the reason why I decided to use these two universities is because they both receive the highest number of applicants in the country and also globally in general. So these reasons are normally caused by several factors such as putting all your eggs in one basket, entrance exams and interviews, rise in the number of university applications, the challenge with full fee paying, withheld results from WAEC, blockage of results for owing of school fees, faking of your WASI results, resentment for University of Ghana Accra City Campus and Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technologies Obwase Campus and a stroke of bad luck. So I'm going to take time to explain these reasons into details because it can happen to any of us and what are some of the measures we can take to prevent these problems in the future. putting all your eggs in one basket and we're going to look at the problem with applying to just one university in Ghana and this is a very big mistake committed when applicant decides to apply to only one university in Ghana so what happens if you were not successful or did not gain admission this means you will have to stay home for another year and this happens all the time you see someone with very good grades but has been sitting at home for over a year or two. There are also situations where applicants who had 8 A's or 7 A's but had to sit at home for one whole year because he was not selected for the medical school and the school of pharmacy at the University of Ghana. There are other situations where applicants who were not selected for doctor of optometry and medical school at the KNUSD had to also sit at home for one whole year. And this is because all these programs like medicine, pharmacy, doctor of optometry, dentistry are very tough to gain admissions into. So your 8 A's or 7 A's only qualifies you to the exams and interview level. Thus, if you are unable to perform well at that stage, you will be eliminated from the admissions process. This means that you are not going to gain admission for that particular program and you might as well sit home for another year trying. One should also take note that the University of Health and Allied Sciences, the University of Cape Coast, University of Development Studies also offer health related programs and you should consider as an option rather than not having a backup plan at all. So in as much as you want to apply to the University of Ghana or the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology for your medicines, pharmacies, dentistries, please consider applying to any of these universities that is University of Cape Coast, University of Health and Allied Sciences or University of Development Studies because in the long run when you all graduate you all be seen as a health professional or medical doctors or pharmacists and no patient will ask you the university you attended. Lack of preparation for the entrance exams and interviews. So due to the highly competitive nature and limited spaces for some of the programs, 
your good WASI results is not enough to guarantee you an admission for some programs. So when you are invited for the entrance exams and interview, you should also remind yourself that the applicants you are writing the exams or attending the interview with also performed very well in their WASI. And this is where you must give it your all because the medical school, the pharmacy school, the dentistry school, the nursing school can only select a limited number of students. So for instance, the University of Ghana received an application of 600 medicine applicants and 200 met the requirements or the cutoff point of aggregate 7 but can only admit 100 students into the medical school. Further screenings such as entrance exams and interviews will be conducted to eliminate further applicants. So this is where 200 applicants all performed very well in the Awasi. They all had their aggregate 7. But the problem is that the University of Ghana can only select 100 students or 120 students, meaning 80 students will be eliminated in the admissions process. So what are some of the measures they take? They use this entrance exams and interviews to eliminate applicants during the screening and selection process. Thus, applicants who get to this stage must give in their all when writing the exams and attending the interview. So during this stage, you have to make sure you're giving your maximum effort so you can also be part of the successfully selected applicants. The challenge with full fee paying. And this option is given to applicants who missed the cutoff point slightly. So there are two types of students in the university. We have the regular students and the fee paying students. The regular students pay lower fees as compared to their fee paying colleagues who pay a high amount of fees in the university. For instance, if a regular student is paying, let's say, 1,500 Ghana CDs a year, that of the fee paying student might be paying around 4,000 a year, all because they missed out on the cutoff point slightly. So, an example is with business students who apply for Bachelor of Science Administration at the University of Ghana with an aggregate of 10, but the cutoff point for regular last year was aggregate. Eight. So the applicant has no choice than to pick the fee paying option for the Legon campus or select a different program where he or she can meet the regular cutoff point. The university can also offer applicants fee paying as the only option, especially with some of the health science programs at University of Ghana, KNUST, University of Cape Coast. So an example is the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology's Bachelor of Science in Dentistry. So what this means is that if you have the passion of pursuing dentistry at KNUST, even if you get 8 A's in your WASI, you will still be a fee paying student. And if by chance that was the only university you apply to and can't afford to be a fee paying student, then the implications is that you have to sit at home for another year and apply to another university where you can be a regular dental student. We should also take note that full fee paying also has its cutoff points in some of the universities. So it does not mean if you have a very weak aggregate, let's say aggregate 24 or 25, you will be considered for fee paying. Full fee paying status can also be offered to you based on your performance after the entrance exams and interview for the health science related programs. And this is because although you may have successfully passed your exams and interviews, you may be offered admission as a fee paying student because others might have performed better than you did at the entrance exams and interview stage. Rise in the number of university applications for particular programs. 
and a typical example is the Bachelor of Arts program at the University of Ghana which admits over 10,000 applicants every year. But the problem is when an applicant meets the cutoff point for Bachelor of Arts from a general arts background which was agreed 15 or 16 as of last academic year. And let's assume that the applicant had an aggregate of let's say aggregate 12 and decided to select subjects in the Bachelor of Arts bouquet like Political Science, Geography, French, Public Administration, Sociology, Chinese, Marketing, Psychology, Chinese, Economics, Geography, Philosophy and Classics. So with an aggregate of 12, the applicant is going to have very high hopes of getting one of these subject bookies that he or she selected. But when the admission letter came, you realize you were given a totally different bookie subject altogether than what you initially selected. For example, in your admission letter, you were given a program like Study of Religions, Philosophy and Classics and Key Swahili. But the problem is that even if you met the cutoff point for Bachelor of Arts for general art background which was aggregate 15 or 16 and you had aggregate 12 and you were expecting the university to have given you one of these Bachelor of Arts bouquet subjects you selected. Others might have performed better than you. Some will have had aggregate 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or even 11 and the university will definitely select them ahead of your aggregate 12 so if the class size is full then you are not likely to get the particular bouquets which you initially selected online that is the reason why the university was able to give you the study of religions philosophy and classics and Swahili because of the class size so even if you might have met their requirements other applicants met that requirement more than you did that is the main reason why you were not given your preferred subject combination withheld results from YEG. so there is this saying that one bad nut spoils the soup you might have not committed or involved yourself in any form of examinations more practice but the problem is that you were sitting in a class where others did and will affect you in the long run so why to take a decision to withhold your exams results for further investigations until proving innocent and what makes this matter sad is that when your results are then released you may have gotten your 7 A's or your 8 A's but the damage has already been done. You should also put in mind that university works on timelines to screen and admit qualified students. There are some programs that will invite applicants as early as possible for interviews and exams right after WAEC releases the WASI results so by the time WAEC may have released your results if you applied for certain programs like medicine pharmacy and other health related programs they might have already finished the screening process or even the university admissions such programs are mostly from the health sciences such as medicine pharmacy nursing and some others like law and you should also take note that not all the programs requires this type of screening. The program that requires this type of screening are the very competitive programs mostly from the health sciences and other humanities related programs like law. Blockage of results for owing of school fees and this goes to all the private senior high schools in Ghana. And this is an instruction that is given to WAEC from the Ghana Education Service reported by the head of schools not to upload the results of students who owe school fees. Candidates whose results are genuinely not online owe school fees and can only see their results after paying their school fees. 
This can cause a back and forth frustration to the applicant even after settling of his or her school fees. And the problem is that even after paying your school fees, your WASI results will not appear immediately online because it also involves a lot of paperwork. Now your headmaster or your headmistress will now have to write a letter to Ghana Education Service before Ghana Education Service can also forward to WAIEC. So it takes a back and forth process which can frustrate the applicant. So by the time you might have finished solving the problem, admissions to universities may be over. Failing to make the necessary changes upon the release of your WASI results. So immediately WAIEC releases the results, the University of Ghana and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology will give applicants the opportunity to make the necessary changes to their programs as soon as possible before the application portal is finally closed for admissions. So for instance, the cutoff point for Bachelor of Law was aggregate 6 and you had an aggregate of 8, you should make sure to make the necessary changes that will qualify you for admission. So if you know you do not meet the cutoff point for Bachelor of Law, select another program as your first choice that you meet the requirements as well as the cutoff point. Finally, cross-check with your index number, year, month of examinations before you resubmit. So you cross-check with your index number, the year, whether 2020 or 2019, and the month of examination, whether you wrote it in May, June, or end of deck, before you finally resubmit your applications to the university. Faking of your WASI results and this is a very criminal offence that can lead to your further prosecutions like imprisonment. So candidates should be wary of fraudsters who parade themselves as staff of WAEG with the access of its results database. So all these are a bunch of scams to attack vulnerable WASI candidates who did not perform very well in their exams for their exams to be alterated by giving them better grades. So you should also note that universities always verify your results from WAEG directly to offer you admission. So in case you are applying and you produce fake results, you should note that the university has its own way of verifying your true results from WAEG. Candidates should also be wary of internet cafe operators who assist you in filling your application forms because majority of them do not really know what they are doing. So I'll thereby encourage applicants to try and apply to the universities themselves or if you are having any forms of challenges, the admissions office of either the University of Ghana, Kwame Koma University of Science and Technology, University of Cape Coast are always open to assist applicants or provide you with the needed inquiries. The resentment for University of Ghana, Accra City Campus and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology's Obwase Campus. So the University of Ghana and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology have the Accra City Campus and the Obwase Campus respectively that runs regular programs for students. And all activities that goes on there is the same as what goes on at the main campus. But the problem is that due to the lack of space on the main campus, the university sometimes offer admissions to applicants at the Accra City campus or Obwase campus, even though these applicants might have performed very well in their WASI exams. So when students receive these admissions offers, they sometimes reject the offer because they want to be on the main campus 
for one or two reasons. The reason why I will encourage applicants to accept this admission offer is because every activity is the same as compared to the main campus. The lecturers are the same, they all write the same exams, they attain the same first degree. So whatever degree you attain on the main campus, that is the same degree you are going to attain at the city campus or at the Oboise campus. It's the same four-year degree program. Their graduation system is also the same. They all graduate at the same period of time, as well as their grading system. Also, classes in these campuses are relatively smaller in size as compared to the main campus. Lecturers take their time to teach as there is a stronger relationship between students and their lecturers. Course mates tend to bond properly as compared to their mates on the main campus due to their smaller sizes. And also due to the COVID-19 outbreak, all university students are off campus studying and writing exams online. So right now you don't even know the difference between an Accra City campus or an Oboise campus student from the main campus. Now all students are at home writing their exams online as well as studying. So what is the point here? And aside as with all this, when you graduate from the University of Ghana or the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology or any other major university here in Ghana, they are not going to write Accra City campus on your degree certificate or Obwase campus on your degree certificate. They are going to indicate you attained a bachelor's degree or a bachelor of science degree at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology or the University of Ghana. A stroke of bad luck can also affect your admissions to the university even if you pass your WASI exams very well. For instance, on the day of exams and interview, you might have not been feeling well due to sickness or might have gotten to the exams hall very late, could not find the venue for exams or interviews on time, and in the end might affect your overall performance for final selections with regards to admissions. You might have also did not have the ample time to prepare for the interview and the exams. You might have also not received the message inviting you for the exams or interview due to bad network missing or change in your cell phone number. You were also not checking from the university's website as often as you should for shortlisted applicants inviting you for the entrance exams as well as the interview. So the little advice I can offer university applicants is to be proactive, keep yourselves updated with relevant information, and lastly, pray for God's guidance and protection in this COVID-19 pandemic era. So I'd like to thank you for watching and please watch out for my next video which is going to provide you with tips on how to prepare and pass a medical school interview or any health science related program that invites you for interview or entrance examination. And I also like to urge you to subscribe to this channel for any further inquiries or future videos like this video comment ask questions share to friends and relatives who are also applying this year and you can also click on the notification bell thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video